everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on a Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys, that's your favorite fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. Today we are back. We got the bunker code for today. Today's bunker code is going to be 08439 at the time of me putting this up. If that's out of date by the time you're trying to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below. Follow it up today version brought to you by the favorite fantastic community here at the Stipe Gang. But today, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are on a quest, a quest for a another raid just last episode we had such an epic raid dude our best one in honestly probably over a month if you guys haven't checked out that episode because i did upload it a little bit late i've been trying to get my schedule all back in order and stuff because it just kind of like been the whole school thing out of whack i'm starting to get into it though so that is really good but uh definitely check that last one out because that is definitely the best raid we've gone on in a minute but we're gonna be going on another raid today we're gonna be using that bunker code heading on over Ooh, player 7474 two sevens lucky numbers eh? but we're gonna be heading out over to the bunker potentially getting enough for a floppy sorry about the burp there disc today as well once we say hello to the blind one as y'all saw from my inventory we're coming pretty kitted we're gonna have 30 red tickets after this we're gonna be able to open up another red ticket crate and have some fun that way but speaking of fun boom this is absolutely fascinating and something that i definitely want to get to talk about so what you guys are seeing right here right now was actually posted earlier by kafir over on all of their social medias this was followed with the caption of like the thinking emoji you know just like the hmm you know like the, that guy right and uh what we are seeing here appears to be some sort of a teaser for the next update and or an up coming update and there are a couple of main components we can take into account and that we can infer from this so the two main hints that we're seeing here like unless you want to count the feet and the shoes but i mean that could literally be anything right that could just be our person coming across this uh whatchamacall these items on the ground but the items are the on the ground are what is truly fascinating so smack dab in the middle of the screen we are seeing some sort of member access card with the accompanying letter a and then over in the top right corner we are seeing the diary of someone called c r so what could this possibly mean well there are a couple of things that this could be alluding to now the a over on the bunker card or on the card it's not we don't know that it's a bunker card yet but the a on the card is definitely could be alluding towards bunker alpha since we have seen that letter used on bunker alpha cards but if that is the case then why is it pointing there why are we going to be needing this card are they going to be expanding the secret room over in the first floor of the bunker potentially and finally putting something in there and maybe we got to find this access card to do it maybe we'll need it to gain access to a new floor coming our way although from what they've said i do believe they're aiming for floors five and six to actually be cooperative slash multiplayer floors so i'm not sure how possible that is going to be so if anything i am thinking it might be some sort of a revamp over in the lobby area of the bunker i don't think it would be leading to new floors and i don't think it's a new bunker access card either or anything because we already have a bunch of access cards for other bunkers so i don't think they need a specific one like this and especially that letter a is kind of like throwing things off a little bit but there is an interesting thing to actually take into account when we are looking at this so as you guys may or may not know leading up to the police station actually being added into the game there was a little bit of a teaser posted where they were kind of talking about the police chief right and how like he was like f fending off the police station but ultimately went missing and he still has yet to be found so that is if you think about it a loose end over in the police station location potentially leaving room for some sort of expansion and future update in the police station to still be in the plans and then if you actually look very closely at this card there's a picture over by where it says member and that picture i mean it doesn't look like he's wearing military armor maybe at first glance if you're looking at it you're gonna be like oh he's got a green shirt out it's definitely military armor but upon closer inspection it kind of looks more like he's, he has like brown suspenders on like that's what those two straps are to the left and right of his person slash neck area so that kind of seems more of an outfit of a civilian potentially having to loop back with that police station stuff could this maybe be a member of the associated press since as you guys know police stations oftentimes do have press conferences where maybe like they go over new news big news that type of stuff anything that might be going on so utilizing that information and the fact that this could very well be the 
picture of one such member of the Associated Press, and that's what that's what the member thing is alluding to, because that's the thing as well. We gotta take into account this card is to show that you're some sort of member of something. I don't really think like you usually say, oh, I'm a member of the military, you know, like you say, I'm a soldier or something or something along those lines, or like, I'm a member of the police. Like, if anything, that word member kind of makes it seem like it's more alluding towards something like the Associated Press, like I was talking about being like a news reporter, something like that, an interview or something along those lines. And, but then that's kind of like the information that we can get from that card. And then what maybe could circle back into that is that that diary might maybe be the diary of the news reporter. Maybe like they were doing a press conference at the police station when the outbreak broke out and we'll be able to like find this card. And because there are still other rooms in the police station that we can't quite yet access, there's definitely room for expansion into that part as well. Not to mention the fact that we do still have the diary of that C.R, which is definitely the initials for something. And maybe those are the initials of the police chief. And this is all looping together into some sort of future police station location or per schnapps. What this might be as well is an entirely new location since the 1.9 series of updates has seemed to have been a very popular one for adding in new locations. Shouts out the farm and definitely shouts out the police station so far. Would it really be outside of the realm of the possibility to maybe add in some sort of third location? And honestly, I mean, if we're going kind of like by the theme of a police station, maybe some sort of public works thing, we could maybe see something like a hospital added into the game. I don't know, man. That seems like the type of card that maybe like hospital staff would be having. I feel like a hospital would kind of go in line with what we've seen so far in the form of, you know, like a farm, a police station, like a police station and a hospital, kind of similar. And I don't know, maybe they could do it and maybe have that be a lot more like, I don't really know what they'd focus on though, which is the thing since like it appeared like the farm was kind of like the melee mod location. Then uh, the police station was like the uh, weapon slash gun mod location. So I don't really know where that would fit into the equation. So there's definitely a couple directions that this could go, but I'd absolutely love to hear where you think it is going to be headed in that comment section down below. Yo guys, his thoughts on my thoughts, you guys' original thoughts, any of that type of jazz, and then remind that comment if you're third of the way into the week at $12 at two such place store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do is always make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. That's where you went on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter on every single last Saturday video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week, and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last down earth information up update gameplay as soon as those new updates are dropping you guys know i'm gonna be all over them covering everything we can and hopefully preparing you guys for when you ultimately do head into there and hopefully don't head in as blind and maybe uh you know because we usually if there's a new location dude we come kitted out we come prepared for like a second coming of the freaking apocalypse since the first coming has happened in the form of uh well, these zombie dudes, right? But I always come prepared, so we always hit things to the max. We try to do nutty things like take wave 99 over at the police station. Like, we're always trying to push updates to the max and show that stuff off. So that's a great reason. Not to mention, it's a great way of keeping track of all the videos. Y'all can go in and enter in on foe that weekly giveaway. And, of course, many of the other dope survival games we are checking out on the channel as well. But without further ado, we have arrived. And let's go. A very nice location, giving us very nice loot in the form of aluminium and in other let's freaking go in the form of some shotgun rain which makes me a very very burpy hold on no i i, I gotta burp you guys know when like that burp is like halfway up but it's like it's 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 just teasing it but it's not quite there that's where i currently have a burp so please leave a message after the beep okay never mind i think it's subsiding Whew. close call close call but uh here are the items we are going to be bringing with uh, I think this ought to be good because I think we do. Yeah, yeah, we can actually put these medical slots over there. That leaves us four slots for some hard mode items, which is going to be plenty for what we should do. Let's get to shooting done. The faster biters thinking they could take us done. Let's take down the blind note after we say a, a very friendly hello as tradition it dictates. Hopefully get enough stuff to acquire a floppy disk. And then, of course, we have the raid of player 7474. Or was it 4747? One of the two awaiting us as well so all in all a whole ton of dopeness not to mention the fact that we got a very dope some sort of a sneak peek at something come to the game because that thinking emoji without fail almost every time that we have seen pretty much every time that we've seen it man it's been some sort of a hint hinting towards a future update and i mean we're due for an update like the police station came out what a week ago maybe coming close to two weeks at this point and the way that updates go, at least as of late, it appears that they've been coming every like two to three weeks, sometimes weekly, which has been absolutely nutty and crazy. So, uh, 
I'm definitely expecting Kafir to hopefully come out with an ace from the sleeve or something pretty soon. But for now, my ace comes in the form of this pistol drizzle and in the form. Oh, no, 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 no. It's breaking. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. I, I, ooh. I like what I see, but I actually prepared my inventory. I don't know. Usually when I do bunker runs, I like to bring some of our like more broken down guns just so we could clear up our inventory space while also getting the maximum usage out of these things. We did bring a little bit of shotgun rain as well. Y'all know we're going to be having fun with that when we say hello to the blind one. But in the meantime, we got a poop out of the pistol drizzle to get to drizzling. Mm, my God, I feel like the weather man, except I don't predict the weather. I make it rain, baby. Or more specifically, I make it drizzle, baby. What I want to do there is just get a little bit of separation that's the reason i was running for a sec i just like to get separation from this other dude and that way we can just use our turn and burn tactics over here on the exploding one and as soon as this guy falls and perishes which should not be too far from now you also got the uh, turret over there to take care of which we should be able to do without fail i'm just gonna yeah well i'll let him get like a single hit off on us that should make things easy he's gonna go boom and we are gonna go and boom on his children and wow that just sounds weird i'm ne never repeating that phrase again but we got a little bit of Galashnikov and a little bit of Eteret over here. You know, trying to impede our progress towards that chest and a little bit towards the blind one. And I don't appreciate that, Mr. Turret. So, uh, unfortunately for you, you must go, my compadre. And luckily for us, we had more than enough Kalashnikov to make that happen. He did not drop any turret parts. But hey, not to spoil the last raid that we went on that you guys definitely should check out that last video. Let's go. Uh, we have a lot of turret parts after the last raid, which is making me a very, very happy camper. But hokey dokey, we got this toxic spitter over here. Let's start going through some more of our pistol. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just go through the AK too. Free up inventory room. I mean, that's a big reason of why I like to bring the broken down guns anyway. So it's a pretty good situation, I'd say, for us to count out, you know, two birds, one stone or something like that. So go hush them off to you. Some AK thunder over to the first spitter. We had just enough to take him out. And then honestly, I'll just pistol him to death. NBD, boys. NBD. No a big deal. Maybe we'll get that Frenzy Giant down there, depending on how much durability we got left over on our guns, because we're definitely not going to be having enough. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's back up from that Zoidberg style. Um, what was I saying? I'm just trying to get some separation from these guys. I got to equip a pistol. I'll just equip this real quick. I know they're getting some hits off on us. At least the one of them is, and then hold on. I want to I want to finish the weak one. You must pick off the weak first. So that way, I mean, they do have... That's always a good strategy. In Last Down Earth, always just try to take people down. Don't try to chip everyone's health away at once that's not really helpful you just want to take down as many people as possible first because then well there's less people hitting you and you will save a lot of armor durability and hopefully a lot of health and healing as well let's get into hacking into this terminal and oh speaking of hacking that's actually another thing that maybe that little teaser might have to do with. As you guys know, there are still a couple of things over here in the perk system that don't necessarily have a use, but definitely will have a fuse in the future, right? And I'm actually thinking the ATV we know is gonna be with the ATV slash swamp update. These four up here already do pretty much perform a purpose, but we still have this mysterious hacker perk over here. And I wonder, maybe that card, since it did have that Bunker Alpha thing on it, or it did have the A that we associate with Bunker Alpha, maybe we're going to be able to find that card and or do something with this hacker skill here, and something will happen with a Zabunka. That's actually a very interesting angle to make note of. I'd love to hear what you guys got to say maybe about this kind of breaking news we have just seemed to have stumbled across, but uh, I got to go ahead and stumble across my buddy, the blind one. I know, it's it's a, it's a love-hate relationship. I know that I happen to shoot him a lot and he happens to hit me, but at the end of the day, we love each other because he, he gets some exercise, I get some loot and work my way towards floppy disks. All in all, definitely a win-win situation, except for my computer's on the verge of melting down and lagging like that. Those are worries situations let's get you running into that let's get a shot of good rain in you big boy we should be able to get off six shots if we time this right god dang it we missed it just by a little bit if you time your shotgun perfectly right and i mean like you start shooting because there's that delay we got to account for now if you start shooting right as he's about to charge in we might be able to get enough shots off i think we may have missed again no we barely did so he's gonna go eat i'm gonna say 
no, 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 not today. But with the new delay that the shotgun has incorporated, that is something you do need to take into account. It is, I mean, it's relatively new. I know it's been around for like a week or two weeks, but maybe you guys don't use shotgun rain enough to personally know, and we only use shotgun rain every so often as well. But there is that little delay that we do need to account for ever since the newest update. And honestly, mm, that kind of sucks that that happened. No, 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 no food for you, my friend. But if you take that delay into account, the shotgun is still able, if you do it right, to get six full, not full damage, but max damage that we can do. The blind one hits off on him before, oh my god, there's that burp that was sneaking up on me earlier. But at the most damage that we can do six times, which is actually really solid for, uh, whatchamacallit, for the shotgun, especially when you hold it down because we can't do the full auto glitch. Oh man. Shouts out the full auto glitch, man. That made our shotgun rain. That made it a shotgun tsunami or a shotgun hurricane, man. Something absolutely wild. Uh, this blind one, yeah, we're gonna have one more wave. I know we could shoot him now, but we do not do nearly as much damage. And at that point, you know, if we can do more damage, but we choose to do less, we're pretty much wasting durability. So I don't mind wasting a little bit of durability out of armor if it means that he falls, then let's go. We also got some big bones to take home and collect for today, aka, Hey, today's gonna be a pretty good day, I feel like, if he's dropping good stuff. He doesn't drop his head, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure the reason that he doesn't drop his head is, uh, whatchamacallit, because we already have one at home. Actually, we have three of the blind one's heads at home. One is a trophy, and two in our chest, although the second one we got in our chest is mainly because of, like, a... We pretty much finessed the system. We got it from a raid. Shouts out to that raid. And a shouts out to this frenzy giant. Hopefully, he's going to be giving us a lot of wonderful things as soon as we bring him down to his knees on the brink of death. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to help you out here, frenzy giant. You know, I, I heard that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's getting very angry. He's running at us very quickly. I just back away from that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm helping him out. You know, he uh, he wrote a, uh, a letter to me. And in the letter, he's like, Star! Please, please shoot me. And I'm like, oh, okay, Frenzy Giant, whatever you say. See, I'm not a bad guy. Just just take my word for it because the Frenzy Giant's not exactly going to be able to speak once he falls. So uh, my account is the only account of the situation. I, unfortunately, I lost the letter. It accidentally burned in a house fire. So I can't prove it. But uh, hey, you know, my word's the best that you got. So I'm just saying, let's head on over back to floor numero uno. Cross our fingers that we got enough from killing our uh, amigo over there. I'm not, not killing, just I, I, I'm helping him sleep. I'm like his sleeping medication, you know? Because like he doesn't really die. I mean, two days later, psh, he's good to go. He eats a couple of those dead bodies on the ground. And what do you know? He's up and kicking. We also got that red ticket crate to zoom into as well. But I definitely want to free up a little bit of inventory room. I do believe there will be one floppy disk within our future, which is going to be a very nice and pleasant surprise. Now, here's the thing, however. I, I don't want to redeem this floppy disk quite yet. We do still have this one C4 over at our disposal over here. And there's a chance we get another one from this red ticket crate, but unless we need more, I kind of want to save the floppy disk a little bit because I just want to get to this raid on the ASAP because I'm brain thirsty after how good the last one was. Let's freaking go! I like what I'm seeing from this chest. No C4, but uh, plenty of other very respectable things, if you ask me. Like, plenty of guns. Pretty hard to go wrong with that. I'm going to leave my green ticket back. I'm going to grab everything else, though, because all this other stuff is definitely worthy of being picked. And then we just got to do a little bit of that inventory management here. I do still have this thing, by the way, that I was trying to use, but uh, I suppose we'll save for next time now. Let's just go in and grab everything that we can. No worries. I know that we haven't grabbed quite everything but we shall return you think i'm gonna be leaving stuff especially those air filters dude we gotta come back for those i'll probably just walk over after the video or something let's just go through all these chests for now and fill up our inventory to the brim with that good good and uh let's go back to the base and let's head back to hopefully what will be a very nice raid awaiting us because i think our luck might finally be turning around after the shenanigans of uh what the past like two to three weeks i'm not gonna lie Besides yesterday, we've kind of been on a raiding dry spell, man. Like, we've had a couple of slightly good raids where, you know, it's like, oh, we got engine parts and an electronic circuit, you know? But not none of that true hype. Unlike yesterday. Yesterday was some true hype. But uh, maybe today, that will change. But yeah, here's the thing. I do want to save the floppy disk, though, because uh, we are going to get C4 from the floppy disk, right? And 
I kind of want to wait unless we absolutely have to. So that's why we're going to be able to go over to that base. Worst case scenario, we scout out the base because just going over there and leaving will not cause it to despawn. We got to make noise first. That's how the raid quote unquote begins. So worst case, we head on over there, see if we need more than one C4. And uh, from there, maybe use the floppy disk. But if not, I definitely prefer waiting on the floppy disk because it will be able to help us with a quest in the future, which is a good thing to save up for. And I mean, I'm not really desperate for other their weapons or anything we got a huge weapon the weapon english is hard my friend we got huge weapon stockpiles all throughout our base so i'm not worried about getting the weapons about that don't get me wrong i am very excited to get those weapons but i'm not like i need some i need some now we will be getting some but uh, until we need c4 and i'm gonna wait until we need c4 for the quest if that makes sense but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get to organize our inventory and we're gonna get to raid it. And without further ado, I'd say we're looking pretty prepared for this raid. Take a peek at our inventory. We got all the materials we need to bring a poop ton of level one hatchets and a poop ton of level two hatchets. Although the poop ton of level one is a slightly more ton of poop than the level twos. But you know what I mean? We're bringing a ton of hatchets. We're gonna be ready to chop some walls down. Uh, I do need to actually grab a little bit of planks. And then we can go ahead and actually finish crafting those up. That's my bad. I'm, I think I accidentally put the wrong stack. I think I brought a stack of uh, what you call eight of planks with me instead of the stack of 12 that I didn't need. But we got all of these things nice and checked out. In terms of the weapons, we're bringing up, we're bringing some dinked up weaponry here, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. We do want to actually remodify the shotgun though to maximize it for raiding because if we put this puppy on, it will now be doing a solid 80 damage, aka it can kill fast biters in one hit. It can kill the floater bloaters in three and a toxic abomination with four. But the toxic abomination, we, wa we waste 20 damage, but everything else is totally fine also we got this generator from the last raid almost totally forgot about that let's let's put this off of here drop it off over here at the generator daycare really quickly uh because there's always a chance that we get another but all in all i'd say we are looking very prepared for the events of today we still got that c4 chill in our inbox and i got a thirst for good loot and mm 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 Ain't nothing else quenching it. Mr. Airdrop, I'm sorry. I wish you could quench it, but uh, I don't know. I only have a chance of getting a lens over at you and or a dog and or a gun and or a blueprint. And just shouts out to Airdrops, dude. They're the real MVPs. Honestly, they show up a couple times a day. They always have a solid weapon in them, whether it be like a pistol or like an above average melee weapon in the form of like a machete. Do they have katanas? I don't remember if they have katanas. I know that they have sledgehammers and saw blades though. Like all in all, they're just dropping good stuff, dude. I shouts out the airdrops, man. And they pop up a couple of times a day and it's not like you need a chopper or anything to get to them. Chopper events are like the airdrops for people with choppers. Those are very nice and oh my God. Uh, well then boys and girls, it appears <laughs> we might want to go back and uh, <laughs> it gets some C4 from those floppies because oh my okie dokie already grabbing this is this gonna cancel the raid by me picking that up I, I hope not but wow military backpack just from looking around a little bit I uh I do think we might want to go and get that floppy disk over into our inventory today oh ho ho where in Tarnation do we even begin breaking into this though this is where I'm a little bit worried this is one of those really big bases uh, I don't know. Time will tell, and time will also tell that, uh, well, we gotta go ahead and get some more floppiness. And I swear, if this raid somehow gets canceled because of the fact that we just, uh, grabbed that military backpack, I am going to be a salty camper. So, uh, game, we're, we're, we're good over here, right? We're good. Okay, bless up. We're good. And you know what that means? We just got a free military backpack because we don't have to, uh, grab that during the actual raid. So, uh, already, dude, the scouting run is paying off. It's a win-win, but, uh, we, we need some more C4 as well to win. So, uh, excuse moi. Well, I grab exactly that and grab the floppy disk and start heading over to the bunker. We got a couple minor things we got to do in between, but, uh, a good raid definitely awaits all right guys i know i said i was actually gonna go ahead and get the floppy disk but i did a little bit of research into this base and from what i have seen it should only take one c4 
so i'm actually gonna go through with it unless somehow the rating system has changed i actually looked into it and apparently just breaking any of these exterior uh stone walls should just take us towards the interior of the base so that is a little bit encouraging to hear that we won't have to use much more than that ideally so uh Without further ado, we got a wall we got to break into. Without further ado, we got a C4 that we got to grab over here from our inbox. And we got a doozy of a raid ahead of us. And hopefully it treats us well. But without further ado, let's toss that high explosive onto the wall. Bada bing, bada boom. We have arrived. Now, this is where there's a little bit of an issue with the raid. Um, there is a lot and I mean a lot of freaking chests. However, already right away, this chest right here kind of stands out to me. It's over on a steel floor, so I'm definitely breaking into this thing. You have caught my attention, Mr. Chest. I want to see what is within you. I also want to go ahead and make sure we utilize our pistols first and foremost. And absolutely nothing. So it is going to be a giant guessing game. But at the very least, we do have a couple of gun shelves over there filled to the brim with weaponry. So we're definitely going to be able to capitalize off of that. And 100% uh, we're bringing home some guns. So we don't got that to worry about. But then we got to hope that we win the chest roulette. Obviously, when the big one shows up as well, we will be able to get some more chests breaking off. But I think the big kind of roadblock is just going to be, uh, well, the pure amount of chests and hopefully getting the right stuff out of them. So let's definitely begin by breaking into the gun shelves. These things barely make any noise to break. And they definitely are giving us some very good goods. And, dude, we're going to get three shotguns out of this for the cost of one C4. I would call this a uh, big old W already and it's only gonna get sweeter from here on out i hope i hope now we do need to keep in mind that this is a raid oh a tripwire trap right there that's evil if you broke in through that doorway i would be annoyed every zombie that you would try to fight would just be making a poop a ton of noise but uh, anyways back to what i was saying i'm gonna pour that gas so maybe we can take home more hypothetical gas definitely put it away every single one of those shotguns and one of those m16s for now because this is a raid that the raiders gave us so we do need to take into account the fact that we will need to give them a share but bless up dude that was actually suck that that's bless up that means we got two c4 awaiting us and that floppy is still that we are definitely gonna go ahead and capitalize off of i wish we could break into these safes man unfortunately they are locked so we can't do much with that so let's begin the breaking and entering process into some of these and hope that they contain a whole ton of nothing yeah so we just i think this raid we're just going to be trying to break as much as we can with everything that we got. So that's going to be good because that means we're going to have pretty much all the inventory room in the world when it comes to bringing stuff back. Uh, I kind of want to start by breaking all the chests directly next to safe. I don't know. I feel like them being close to safe, maybe uh, because they're probably storing good stuff in the safe. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a hacker base because the way that this works and the reason a lot of these may actually be empty is because anything that is spawned in by a hacker uh is not actually saved by the server and the raids the base designs are saved on the server so i'm pretty sure all of these things were most likely filled to the brim with modded materials we're just not seeing any of them because they were spawned in by a uh, hacking or whatnot so that's a little bit unfortunate but hopefully we can find the rare couple of chests that got something good within oka okay okay we're taking a little bit of a direction not sure which direction it is but it's definitely not the decline it's definitely the upcline back to the decline we go okay we definitely got a ton of these dudes about to be running after us so we can go ahead and tear these dudes a bunch of holes brought to you by the pistol drizzle holes in their faces by uh, bullet holes of course shot a good rain on some of these abominations and bloaters that are going to be running our way we need to take an account for that delay and mm, that guy's got three health left i'm just saying i kind of want to punch him in the face to take him out oh my god i punched him with my c4 talk about some high explosive fists uh let's go ahead and actually equip the shotgun now i don't know i like using the shotgun on these dudes because if we get a critical off then uh what do you know oh they die even quicker because they got a whole ton of health and even if we don't get a critical off this thing still does 80 damage we're able to kill them in exactly enough hits and unfortunately for now yeah we do need to go ahead and finish this guy off with a punch but we're doing a great job god doing a great job of punching people with c4 no we're doing a great job of actually just kind of like whittling them down and not wasting a lot of durability or damage on our weapons so i'm very happy with that man just the way that this shotgun is set up dude bless up this setting right here prime rating setting i'm telling you now unless uh, 
I, I don't really know. No, because like you could put the silencer on and maybe switch out the sight instead of the long silencer, but that's not fully silenced. You probably don't want that for a raid, but what I want to do is figure out uh, which chests we should be breaking into next. Okay, so this chest gave us something. Maybe we break into the chest next to it. You know, maybe we kind of like work our way out from the chests that actually give us stuff. Nope, not a valid strategy at all. Encouraging to hear. Uh... Here's the thing where I'm a little bit intrigued. We might be able to actually break a lot of chests during this raid because the way that these walls are set up, I think we might be able to glitch the big one. And if we're able to do that, we're like, we get him stuck on the other side of the wall. He thinks he's hitting us, but he's not. And then we're just over here breaking this stuff. This might actually end very well for us. If everything, like if the stars align and stuff, I don't know. Um, all right. I did say I want to break the chest right next to the safes. I'm going to continue that strategy for now. Probably continue it for a little while. God dang it. Uh, yeah, continue it for a little while. Eventually, what I'm going to want to do is start breaking. Let's go. This is the chest that I like to see. This is beautiful, baby. Hello, engine part. Hello, VSS. Hello, a couple of you marvelous little Kalashnikovs. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is a raid taking a turn for the best i think breaking the chest by the safes was a good strategy def yeah definitely saw so if you guys do get the space i think we got two chests so far that were worthwhile definitely break into those chests do not break in any of the empty chests that i have broken into but dude was not expecting that i'm gonna go ahead and toss that extra fuel we got into there but i wonder if maybe those bottom chests are where he puts his stuff from adventures because anything you get from playing the game is saved by the game right on the server so maybe these chests in the bottom row are where he just puts all of his adventure stuff you know like from adventuring and then this other stuff is where he has all the spawned in stuff i'm kind of gonna try to follow that hunch over here for our next set of breaking and entrance but uh, i suppose i could grab some gun oil for now I'll probably value that a little bit more than like the other stuff chilling around here let's see how the next chest treats us Ooh, we are getting a little bit thirsty too i'm just gonna eat carrots can, can carrots just quench my thirst yes they can and they free up a whole another inventory stop breaking this chest should probably summon the zombies and whatnot though nope whole ton of nothing in that one so i i don't really know what the logic is behind this raid man i the only thing i could come up with for having this many empty chests is again that a lot of them were filled to the brim with modded materials and they got despawned because this is a huge amount of trunks by the way like i can you even have this many trunks down isn't there like a limit that limit might be 20. now see if you hack the game you don't have to listen to a limit right so they probably put down more or maybe whoo, almost got cut off there uh or maybe the limit's like 40 and i'm kind of like misestimating that but i think the contents of them are very telling because we've broken into a lot of them only a couple have had stuff and I, I feel like if you're i don't know man they had to have been filled with modded stuff because if you have that much inventory room it, you, they gotta be filled with something you know i feel like there'd have to be some form of organization behind it all right use the rest of the pistol on him <laughs> let's use some of that shotgun raid on this dude see ya what a wanna be we got this guy over here god dang it no critical but that's okay shot gonna rain we'll happily pump you full of another shot and ew oh my god there's a lot of green blood over there what um yeah i don't really like uh there's only like two more chests in that bottom row i kind of just want to finish breaking into this bottom row am I, am I crazy for that if we break two more chests i'm trying to do like the math behind this uh what are we gonna have we got four iron hatchets right now if we break into two more chests we should still have an okay amount of iron hatchets but how much noise is this going to bring us up to? 96, I think? Yeah, that one had nothing. It's going to bring us up to 94, actually. So we do have the big one to worry about and no loot to cry about as well. But I wonder if maybe each row has a single chest that has something within it, you know? Because, like, that's the chest over there. Was it this chest or that chest? One of these two chests, we found something very good. I think it was this chest because I broke into the neighboring one. Um, I wonder if each row... He maybe put like something valuable into something along those lines because this row had something. We haven't found anything in this row yet. I kind of want to see if we can. So uh, I think we're going to send it. We're going to see where this takes us. Uh, I wish I could heal up a little bit more, but eh, what else, man? I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to roll with the flow. What is that? Two chops over there. Yes, I'm going to do two chops on each and every one of these chests. And after that, how many hatchets is that going to leave us with? Uh, I don't know, but this row, definitely taken care of. 
Okay, so that is good. And we still got what? How many? Okay, I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna try to get through maybe halfway through that hatchet. And then we'll take things from there. We haven't gotten anything from this row either, so I will soften up a lot of these into their fragile state where we only need one hit. I just don't want to accidentally use too much of my axes, you feel me? Because this is a lot of chests that we are softening up. I don't want it to backfire on us and, you know, like we run out of hatchets, but I think maybe let's finish off the second row. And from there, let's break into all of these and hopefully some of them pay off. Like, yeah, we may have broke that one a little bit too much. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm mm, Yeah, we'll play it by ear. I might have some wood and some stone in my inbox We might be able to use if we like run out of here run back in and I'm gonna see if we can't do that Kiting method around these stone walls. That seems like a viable thing But without further ado, we gotta start breaking everything in existence The big one's coming and I'm not trying to die I'm just trying to get loot and apparently that's a very hard thing to do. Okay. Okay another thing as well We definitely got to take out the toxic abomination over here. Hello, big one. Yeah, check it out, man. We got him stuck. We got his little dingus butt stuck behind that wall. So that's definitely something we could utilize. Like, it, if he thinks he's hitting us like that, check it out. He, I don't think he'll teleport to us. He just keeps on doing this, you know? And then maybe we could just go ahead and... Nope, no, no, no. He's going around. He's going around. Not what I wanted. No, no, no. Not today. Not today. Not today. We still got this chest to break into for show, for show. Uh, I probably want to check what's in that chest. I haven't had a chance to do that quite yet. I'm, I'm going to try to get the big one stuck. Okay, he's stuck up there. I'm going to try to take out this abomination now. Come on, abomination. I just got to take you out, so I only got to worry about the big one, and then things are going to get a lot simpler. And uh, okie dokie. So this is the part where he only hits us. Now I'm going to try to run back around this way, and... Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Can I just maybe go a little bit more? Yeah, as long as he doesn't, like, try to run around for us. Beautiful. Oh, no, 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 not beautiful. Not beautiful. No, 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 no. I thought there was, like, one more of those chests I didn't quite yet break into. Can I get him? No, I can't get him hugging that wall. Now he's trying to run around that way. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's break into this chest a little bit. What you got, big chest? Okay, nothing there. It's okay. So as soon as we get back to hugging that wall, we're good to go. Good to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Not good to go anymore. It's okay. It's okay. We might be able to get him stuck now this way, which is marvelous. That's exactly what we wanted. We can walk over each and every one of these chests. Okay, he's figured out our plan. This is not what we wanted. No, 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 no. Ow. He's starting to do some solid damage, too. That's why I'm a little bit concerned. No, 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 no. Let's bring you over this way, bud. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try to kite him over this way as well. It's it's interesting trying to kite like this, but there there is merit to these tactics we're utilizing. See what I mean? Hopefully just we just gotta like kinda toy him along, you know, kinda like bring him along for the ride. Okay, he's coming along. He's he's taking control of the ride. Jesus, he's doing a lot of damage. Don't I have full SWAT armor? Why is he doing so much damage to us? Does his damage like increase with time instead of with hits now? I'm not entirely sure. Come on, big one. Yeah, so you can definitely, like, use these stone walls to your advantage. I'm just trying to figure out what the best way of doing that is. Okay, there we go. I just toy him along. Bring him along. Come on, big boy. Come on, just trying to double check all these chests. Make sure we didn't forget nothing too, too valuable. Let's uh, break into that chest there. Continue the toying process. Marvelous. Contents of the chest, not marvelous at all. Come on, come on. There you go. Aim a little bit that way. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. Again, the contents of the chest aren't going well, but the, the, the thing we're doing is going well. And it's just very scary because it's doing a lot of damage right now, but wow. We broke through all of these rows. We still got a little bit of that hatchet left over. We might be able to finesse the system a little bit. Okay, yeah, he's, no, and we're not finessing it this way. Not finessing it this way. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get him, let's get, yeah, let's get him following us that way. No, no, no. I want you, I want you in this row that I'm in. Come on, big one. Follow me. There we go. Is he following me? No, he's going the other way. I, I, I think this is a game, dude. Whoever made this is trying to toy with us. I mean, like, whoever made this base, they're trying to play games because the big one is the biggest derp. That's what he is, man. He's a big old derp. He, what are you doing, man? I, I don't even know what he's doing at this point. Let's. I'm just going to start breaking into this chest. Okay, now he's coming along for the ride. Uh, can I get him stuck? Nope, not getting him stuck that way. Can I maybe get him stuck this way now? Come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. We might be able to break into, like, one more chest. Nope. Okay, okay, okay. What? Why? What? Why does that happen, dude? Are you... Are you serious right now? Did that actually just... Did the big one change how he works? Dude, that's not right. Oh, no. You know what it is. 
His damage doesn't increase every time he hits us. His damage increases every time he swings, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. That's really bad. If he... Had, oh, my God. This is a... That's bad. We, we might not be able to do this, guys. Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... We definitely need SWAT armor. Oh, okay. First off, does the base still exist there? Please. I had some really nice stuff in my inventory. You know, like VSSs and whatnot. I would uh, prefer to keep that stuff. Don't tell me like the base somehow despawned, dude. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Please tell me. Okay, it's still there. This is... Uh... I don't know how this is going to go. He's doing full damage right now. I have an idea... It's a really weird idea, though. Uh, we gotta get some SWAT armor. All right, guys, so here's the game plan for Operation Saving My Stuff. We have the sprint skill. That is good. Uh, we are gonna wanna use the chopper glitch 150% right now. Also, uh, yeah, we're not really gonna have time to put stuff away. I'm not gonna get greedy. I just wanna get my stuff and get out of there because we definitely had some good stuff in our inventory that I'm trying to keep. Uh, here's the problem. It doesn't matter how much armor we have. He he one hit us with SWAT armor at full health because that that is something you have to watch out for. Even if he's swinging at you through a wall, it doesn't matter if he damages you. Every time he swings, his damage increases. So that is what happened. I didn't know that was a thing because I guess I've never just had to experience kiting him for that long in like that wall scenario. So I think we learned a valuable lesson. That's a really weird lesson to learn, but we learned it, so that's good. Here's what we're gonna want what what we are going to want to do. We want to kite him to the opposite side of where our chopper spawns. That will give us enough time to hopefully finesse the system. So our chopper is spawning over here at the very top. Okay. Uh, he's going to start running after us. I have the sprint skill, which is good. I think he's stuck within there. He's going to start working his way towards us. We want to bring him to the opposite side of the map. Okay. And uh, I think, is he following us? Okay, there we go. He's definitely following us. We got a good amount of distance on him, though, so I'm not worried. We just want to bring him to the opposite side of where our chopper spawns. I also do have the sprint skill. No worries, boys. If, if he gets close, I know what to do. Uh, that will hopefully buy us some time in the grand scheme of things. Okay, definitely starting to sprint there. And okay, running out of bounds, running out of bounds. We're safe. Okay, so now the big one is on the exact opposite side of the map. Uh, mm, here's the problem. He, uh, I might not have brought him the best way around. So when we spawn back in, he might try to meet us face to face. Mm, we, we gotta see how this goes because we're gonna spawn by our chopper, right? Ah, the way... Uh, I might have brought him a little bit too far on that other side and he might try chasing after us in a weird way. Like, I don't, like he might come via this way. I don't want him to come via that way. So maybe if I run this way a little bit and then start running this way, Hopefully he's coming that way. If we hear footsteps though, when he's coming this way, yup, he's coming this way. Nope, 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 nope. We got a board, got a board, got a board. Please give me sprint back. Please give me sprint back. Let's hopefully cut that corner. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I just had to do that for the sake of trying to live. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. We brought him a little bit too far. Okay, so we gotta do take two. We wanna bring him to that side of the map, but we wanna bring him closer to the left side of the base than the bottom side of the base. Uh, I'm gonna give my person a second here to hopefully get that sprint back. We definitely want that sprint back super badly so we can actually hopefully get a little bit of ground on him. All right, so moment of truth. Here's the thing, dude. Sometimes it takes us a second to spawn in and during that second before we've loaded in, he's already running around. So this might go very poorly. And if we die this time, I think our stuff's gone. I think the base disappears. So we just got to spawn in very quickly. Please game. Okay, we got to go, got to go, got to go, 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 got to go, got to go, got to go, go, go. Bless up. Okay, we got a little bit of distance. We got over this way. That's good news, Bears. Uh, now we want to bring him definitely more towards that corner of the base over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This corner. This corner right here. This is where we want to bring him. Over on this side of the base so he actually runs around the long way when he's chasing us. Hopefully. I really hope that this works. I'm also going to give myself a second to hopefully let that sprint skill regenerate again. And all right. Here's the moment of truth. Can we get our stuff back? And if we do get our stuff back, can we get out of the base without him killing us? This is where things really, really might take a turn for the worst. That's all we got to be moving like right away. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, game. Okay, there we go. We're moving. We moving. We moving. We got the sprint skill. That's good. I'm going to save it because he might come around this way. 
I hope that he doesn't. I don't think that he is. Bless up, baby. Bless up. Okay, we want to move. Want to move. Want to move. 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 We want to get that stuff. Is it in? I think it's over in this row. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Give me my stuff back. Thank you very kindly. Uh, goodbye to those pants. Okay, I'm cool with what we got back. Uh, here's the problem. Which way is he running? Which way is he running? He's running over that way. Okay, I'm gonna try to just try to tail him a little bit. Is he in our row? I think he's in our row. Yes, 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 yes. This is going good. This is going good. This is going good. Please, please, please. We're gonna make it out of here. Let's freaking go, boys. We have survived a ridiculously close call. Whew. Yeah, so uh, if you guys do do this base and you do do that little trick that I did, just realize that his damage goes up every single time he swings. It is not every time he connects on a swing. Every single time he's trying to punch you in the face and kill you. All right, uh, his punches become more powerful. I think literally punching the stone walls, it's some form of training, dude. This guy's going like Dragon Ball Z style, taking off the anklets. Next time he hits you, it's a GG. But uh, GG to you, my friend, because we came out of that one pretty good. We could have maybe tried to finesse the chopper system, but I'm, I'm not getting greedy, okay? That became way too dangerous of a situation way too quickly, but we're still walking out of it with mainly some of the best stuff that we got. So all in all, I'm a pretty happy camper. I know we left behind some SWAT stuff when we slid a couple of empty inventory slots. So we could have technically gotten more, but uh, I'm just happy with the way it turned out. And I'm a little bit too stressed to negotiate with the Raiders right now. We'll go ahead and do that next time. I'll figure out what we got to give them. But in the meantime, this is going to start wrapping up this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Can't wait to what y'all got to say about that mysterious card and diary that we were talking about earlier today. Not to mention, best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chopper gas. They can join it. The chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your pups. Get the true friend perk. Level it up your own perks as well. Not to mention, finding the best blueprints and building the best attachments for the best guns that you got. Building up your base. Going out on the dopest of raids with that be revenge or the type that you got a quest for defeating the boss that the game has to throw at you getting past the multiplayer while conquering the farm and the police station and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan bring fantastic time all throughout but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourself an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya.